treated myself to a little purchase. picking up the camera I mean let's not be dramatic it was just a week or a little bit maybe a week and a bit off vlogging but I do feel a little bit rusty picking up the camera today and speaking to you guys but it's back to a new week and I'm picking the camera back up because I am feeling a lot better this week so I just took a break last week which was really needed I was in such a funk um I feel like I'm not going to get it too too much into it and explain all of the reasons why because let's keep this on a positive good note to start the vlog but yeah I was just in a little bit of a funk I needed to take myself away get re-inspired I had things going on behind the scenes and I just needed to look after myself and put myself first which I never ever do so I actually had a nice week in terms of catching up with friends doing things that I love doing hold on I'm gonna change because this lighting is not the one I don't know maybe here is a little bit better it just keeps going very over bright but yeah I ended up going to the farmhouse I had a whole morning to myself I was swimming working out reading journaling listening to podcasts going on walks seeing friends and I'm not gonna lie I was generally working as well pretty much last week although I say I'm taking a week off that just means I'm taking a week off actually picking up the camera or filming or editing or any of that jazz but in terms of actual work and admin that still goes on and I still have to pay the bills but yeah I just basically was not online that's the way to put it so it was well needed but I'm back and I'm feeling better this week and let's just hope and pray fingers crossed guys that this sun is here to stay now because I cannot do another rainy day and I really don't want to be that annoying Brit that just talks about the weather but my oh my this rain has really got to me I feel like I come back from holiday in June the whole of July was like a wipeout and then the beginning of August wasn't looking good. The forecast for the next few days is looking okay. But I thought I'd just catch you up on some other bits that I've been getting up to. Because I did actually go and get my hair done. So I'm going to clip into that and show you what I actually get done at the hairdressers. I know I've done a few of these on my vlogs before. But if you are new here, then hey. And if you have just found this video and hopefully subscribe, this will be new to you of what I actually get done at the hairdressers. And it's always fun to go along and see the transformation because I'm a lot blonder here on top i didn't manage to get a full head um so it's not as blonde underneath so yeah i'm gonna clip into me actually getting my hair done but as you can see from the title of this video we're back with more home updates and i really hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs as much as i'm enjoying making them because i know i say it in most of the vlogs but i do just love being at home and working on the house at the minute has really been a huge focus so nonetheless let's get into this vlog good morning guys i am up and out early this morning um, I am going to get my hair done. It has been so long since I've had my hair coloured. Well, I have highlights. I mean, you can see how dark it's looking and out the back. Um, so I'm actually having a full head of highlights. Of course, I'm going to go back to Errol Douglas Salon. I've been going there for years. Once you find a good hairdresser, do not go anywhere else. I made that mistake once and I learned my lesson. Um, so yeah, Yolanda does my hair colouring and then Errol does my cut and blow dry so you might think I'm like out of breath it's because I'm trying to get there and not be late so I will pick up the camera once I'm there I've been sat here for the past it's been like an hour and a half two hours getting I've actually just had half a head of highlights because I was running behind my appointment but it takes a while it takes the love of hair that goes into the hair as you can see I look ridiculous right now I love the same but this is the breaker base that Yolanda puts on which helps to kind of like smooth my highlights out and to give me that lot of regrowth so it lasts a lot longer Got 
my hair blow dried out, pinned, and then I'm just gonna wait for this to set a bit and then it honestly just goes to such like a nice bouncy blow dry. But you can see the colour already. And it got rid of my roots. salon my hair is feeling very very fresh and bouncy and this is for anyone who comments saying that I keep touching my hair I'm gonna be keep touching it because I've just had it done and it just feels so fresh and soft I'm very happy with it I mean I always am when I've gone to Errol's salon Yolanda like I said has done a really lovely job with my colour I did half a head so maybe I need to go back and get the other half done soon like under my head but it's brightened it all up around my face then he did a slight chop so I'm kind of liking it this length of the minute not too short but I'm just gonna head into Harrods now because I'm on the hunt for these Celine sunglasses I'm gonna see if they've got them here if not then I know we have got a pair on hold in the Selfridges which I'll head over to Oxford Street so I had no look at Harrods they didn't have it in stock so I'm coming back to at Selfridges now you can see where I am hopefully they've still got it on hold for me but I'm trying to like detour from doing any other shopping and just get the sunglasses. on at the vlog here in real time because I was editing this video and realized I didn't show you what I got because I ended up getting the sunglasses I didn't get them from Harrods I can't remember if I actually vlogged being in Harrods but I ended up getting them from Selfridges and a lovely essay there she put me on the waiting list and within 24 hours she had messaged me and said we've had some come in stock and usually when they come in stock there's not many and she was like if you want them I'll put them on hold for you so bless her she did she came through and I went and picked them up from the Selfridges store so if you haven't seen these glasses, maybe you have already, I probably have actually already posted a picture now on my Instagram wearing them because I took them to the farmhouse with me last week, but I need to show you them anyway. First of all, how cute is the case that it comes in? And it is a bag. I am generally going to wear this as a crossbody bag with little white dresses this summer, hopefully, or even just like what I'm wearing today, just like a striped um, t-shirt and trousers. I feel like this is warranting the cost of these sunglasses because they were cheap but I know I'm gonna get my cost per out of them. The other Celine Sunnies I'm sure you've seen it time and time again and these are the new pair. So these have literally been sold out like I said everywhere and I love the vintage design of these. They're really slim, they're really sleek. It's got the Celine logo here and in gold I always wear my gold jewellery so I feel like these are just like the perfect accent to finish off an outfit but do we love them? I love the style of these. When I first tried them on, I was like, ooh, they're a little bit different, but I think it's because it's the way I had my hair on makeup, and um, I think my hair was slicked back as well, but I really like these. So I'm sure you'll be seeing me wearing these a lot with my outfits, but these are just gonna see me through all the seasons. These aren't just a summer sunglass. I will be wearing these come rain or shine. But yeah, very happy. I treat myself to a little purchase because all of my time and money and everything has been going into the house recently. So I just haven't really been at buying things for myself. Nonetheless, very happy. Got my hair done, as you saw. It is now freshly highlighted, which I definitely needed. It was, the roots were bad and I treat myself to a little purchase. So that's the update so far. And now I'm gonna actually update you guys on what I've been getting up to with the house. So I'm gonna clip into now from last week of going and getting the panels and the whole story behind that. I'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet, but basically I went to home base, got the shiplap panels and realized they were the wrong size. So I had to come all the way back bring them back and then I went to Wix and got these panels as you can see. I got six of them because I measured it all out and I would need a little bit over. And then I pit stopped into the range. I saw these cute vases actually, um, but I didn't end up picking it up. There wasn't too many cute things, but this was just an absolute sidetrack, of course. I 
was procrastinating getting back to finishing the panels. So I then got home and I actually primed all of the panels, which was fine with the Farron Ball. And then I started painting with the paint that I actually got. And this was Jitney Farron Ball. But as you can see, I got it made up in Dulex because it's cheaper. And I realised the colour wasn't right to the sample that I had. So thankfully, after painting just one panel, I went back to the shop and they managed to change the paint for me. And I actually went with Mouse's back. And as you can see the colour here, it is a lot deeper. It just adds a nicer tone of brown. And then it took us hours to figure out how to basically make holes in the panels for obviously where the plug sockets are. So we ended up using this saw and like I said, it took us hours, but once we figured out the one, we were then on a roll. Okay, so let's just ignore the chaos that is going on here right now. As you can see, I've got all the paint samples that were on the wall. These panels are just currently sat at all different heights because we've been cutting out the shapes of where the plug sockets are on these, which actually took us hours to do the first one to get our heads around it. Um, but we managed to do it. So this is how it's going to sit in terms of the height, which is a really nice height. And then there will be the panel, the strip of wood that will go on top to bring it all together. And then obviously these ones haven't been done yet. So I've just gone and got the no nails glue and also the um, gun for that. So I can start sticking these down and then we can start obviously measuring this out because we've still got a little bit of a gap there, as you can see, which we need to bring together. But I much prefer this colour. This is Mouse's back Farron Ball. It just brings a nice deeper... Again, it's like these earthy browns into the room that just adds a lot more depth. But obviously the colour of the walls isn't done yet, but I did go and get the paint. So we actually couldn't decide on what paint to do on the walls, but we got this made up at B&Q. Don't worry, it hasn't been open yet, so it won't spill on the bed. But this is the Vasper paint. This is the dead flat mat, which we have in the rest of the house of the Farron Ball. But obviously, you can get it made up, so it's a little bit cheaper. And we went with Schoolhouse White. So, I don't actually think I've tested this on the wall yet, which is a little bit rogue. But I went for a smaller litre um, can to see if it's going to work. So, I'm going to stick the panels down so far, start putting this on the wall and see if I like it against the tones and if it's going to work. So that's the paint situation and obviously these are not styled, the bed isn't properly styled. Um, so yeah, this room is all currently in progress. It's just been like this for so long since we've moved in because we've been focusing on the other rooms. I do also have these Pookie lights that I got. I got these ages ago which are going to sit here either side of the bed which again will add some gold details gold accents which we're going to be mirroring throughout the room as well sorry my camera died there but these are the shades that come with it and these are just too yellow for me so i'm going to send these back and order some different shades from pookie maybe add a little bit of pattern into the room as well so we'll see so once these go up obviously the panels it's painted we will be doing the picture frame here in the middle again i'm going to put the inspiration on the screen so you can see how hopefully it'll look when it's all finished and as for the ensuite door i hate the color of this wood I mean, you can see again, we've been using um, paint samples here. I just hate it. I hate the door handle. So I'm going to paint this white. And what we're going to do is do this as kind of like a sliding door instead. Um, so it's a lot more functional and gives it more space because this room eventually is all going to be knocked out and through to a big... Um, hopefully walk-in wardrobe and then a big ensuite behind it so that's all currently in the plans with our architect at the minute so for now at least we can redecorate this room and make it to our own taste as for the wardrobe room it never picks up the light in here because the light coming through from the window but we have wallpapered this back wall and started to bring this together slightly so i've just quickly put the runner in here but obviously i need a thicker one i found one actually on a line that i like which i will order I've got my little ottoman here in the middle, the poof, which I will relink because this is such a good buy and you can open it up and it acts as storage. I've just got my Demilier bag on here at the minute because it's bigger to fit on the shelves. But yeah, I've just got some blankets and stuff in there. So this is great storage. But yeah, like I said, this is temporary because this is going to be knocked through into a proper built-in walk-in wardrobe, which will also be knocked through here into an ensuite. So this is just temporary for me to store my things, but 
slowly but surely I will try and put a little bit of style into this room. I think the wallpaper has already done that. This is the same wallpaper as in the guest room. We had some leftover. We would not let it go to waste and I just love the colours and the pattern. Just adds a little bit more character for this to be a plain wall but you can see here these all need filling in. So I need to go to Ikea. I need to grab these. I want to grab some curtains and bits and bobs for storage just to kind of bring this together and some bits that I need for other rooms and also look for curtains for the bedroom. Hi guys i am picking the camera back up because i don't know if you can see behind me i am at ikea also oh my god i am hooked on these lip balms these lip glosses these are the road ones the hayley bieber ones this is the peptide lip treatment salted caramel i can't tell you how good these are it is always always in my handbag or in my hand but I'm having a no makeup day today. My hair is currently wet in a hair mask. I've got fake tan on that's brewing and hence why I don't have my jewelry on. So when I've got my fake tan on, I don't know. I just don't like to have it on. And I've got a loose dress on because maybe too much information, but I'm pretty sure most of us here are girls. But it is first day of the month in terms of time of the month. And it has wiped me out today. I am having the worst cramps. So I've just put on a real floaty dress, this cardigan, which I feel like I'm always kind of wearing this combo at the minute, but it's a great one when like you just don't really know what to wear and you don't want anything tight to you. Anyway, that's the outfit of the day. I'm at Ikea. I need to get some bits, like I said previously in the vlog, for like the wardrobes. I want to get some curtains. I want to get some more baskets. I want to look if there's any decent rugs. So fingers crossed it'll be successful. for a bookcase for the study at the back and this was the one we actually originally looked at which could work perfectly we've already measured it all up obviously not in the gray it comes in other colors if we were to do it in maybe more of like a walnut wood um you can just get the wood and then maybe if we was to stain it and then obviously change the handles it could be a good upscale job or we're still deciding on what to get because we've seen another one from the reclaim yard but it's a lot smaller in height and width whereas this would fill the space a little bit more so very undecided but we like the fact that it's like cabin tree at the bottom and then it's glass at the top that's kind of what we've been looking for with a cabinet so could be a more cost-effective way of doing the ikea one and then upscaling it stuff that I probably don't need but that's what happens when you go to Ikea and it's actually really hot I should probably take this cardigan off but I did have the willpower of not getting meatballs instead I just got these on the way out these like cola bottles but I don't know they're all right but I think I'm going to make a nice salad when I get home but I'll show you everything I got I managed to get two sets of curtains curtain rods some cocktail glasses or gin glasses i got some plates um what else did i get i got loads of little bits and bobs so oh and a lamp so not too bad really when you think about everything that i've got for the price so let's get home i'm going to put a podcast on and i'll catch up with you back when i'm back but i got these little 
hand cloths to put in at the downstairs bathroom. I'll wash these, fold them and put them in a little basket. I've got these little bowls for dips. I liked the little scalloped edge on them. Then a basket, I feel like you don't go to Ikea and not get one of these. They always come in super handy for storage. I got this little thing to put a plant in, which is gonna go on this. It's like a gold rod, which I'm gonna put on one of the cabin trees in the kitchen to like store our um, tea towels and little bits and bobs like that. And then hang that on it as well. I got a throw just for outside for on our furniture set. This was actually really cheap as well, but it's like a lovely olive green color. Um, I got a plate holder because I got these plates. I liked the brown color of these, like the dark brown, which I think are gonna look great in the cabinets up here when I style them. Um, I got some candles just for, I mean, always need some candles. Random kitchen appliances that you always need. What else did I get? Oh, they're the hooks for the rod. I actually got these, I think these are the right color. I couldn't seem to find white, the little things that will go into the packed wardrobes upstairs to hide the holes. So that's in there. These are always just handy to have to like store away um, shoes and clothes. So I got a few of those. Then I ended up getting two pairs of curtains. I got this pair, which is the, sorry, I can't do this with one hand. I'm not gonna say it because I'll butcher it, but this is like a, it's like a lovely kind of beigey color. And this I actually saw last minute and these were 75 pound. This picture I feel like doesn't do it justice. This makes it look really yellow, but it's not. And then I also got these for our bedroom, which is the Vilborg. Again, I could be butchering it. So here's the name in case. And this is like a, brown more deeper color which is going to match hopefully with the panels in mouse's black in our bedroom then i also got the poles to go with these which were i think 15 pound i always have fresh flowers or plants in my house like pretty much everywhere apart from i just got one artificial one which i'm going to put in the little thing in the kitchen just for a bit of styling and add color i also got another one of these frames for the smaller print that i have so I can put that in it. These are really great. Um, I was gonna get some more, but I think I'm just gonna obviously mix it up with different vintage frames as well. And I think that is it. Oh, I also got a lamp, which I will show you. I've already got one in the house and I've just um, put it together and put it in the kitchen. And I think that is everything, guys. So I'm gonna see what these curtains look like. I'm gonna start putting them up and just have a look. And then I did also get these big gin glasses. I think these were £2.50 each. I just got a set of six. So I've been loving a G&T and now the sun is coming out. It's nice to have a little bit of a spritz. This is one of the lampshades that I actually got from Amazon and this is meant to be battery powered. So I'm going to get it all out and we'll see. Alexa, stop. So I also did another H&M order. As you can see, I've pretty much unboxed everything. But how annoying. This plate came and it's mad. Because we had similar to these, so I wanted to get some more. So I'm going to have to send that back, but you can kind of see the concept of how it would look. I have ordered another one, so I'm hoping the other one hasn't smashed, which is a shame. But I got some curtains, and I also got some curtain like holders, um, which I will show you, which I've just currently put in the study. The curtains work, but the holders don't in there. I'm thinking to put them in here in the living room. So I actually got another plate, which is the one I showed you, so I need to unbox this. Then I got some book ends for when we get the shelves fitted, which I feel like I say in every vlog, I'm hoping by the end of the week, because we just keep getting delays, because we're getting them custom made. Every week they keep putting it back, but it's looking like they should be coming this week and hopefully can get them installed. But these are some book ends. Let me show you the other one, because I've already unboxed that. Just kept it in here in the sideboard for now. No, it's not that. That's different. Is it in here? Yeah. So this is the book end, which I thought would look great on the shelves because I've obviously got two. So I'm going to do them on separate shelves to style. And then I also got the matching is a bowl, which is the same design, but I just thought this is such a lovely shape. It will add some different like dimension on the shelves. And then it will also tie in quite nice with these to have them 
styled together. The curtains that I've put up in the study and they're kind of like a creamy stone linen fabric but these are a more heavyweight fabric so they don't feel too thin and then I also got these curtain hooks as well i've actually just put these on quickly with command strips just to see how it's going to look before i actually drill a hole but i think these actually are really cute in here with the gold accents so the curtain length is actually too long as you can see down here i need to get them taken up but i thought it's actually an easier way a more cost effective way to buy them from H&M and then see if I can get them taken up at the local alterations um, rather than getting all of our curtains and blinds bespoke but I actually really love the fabric of this I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out but I think the colour does work perfectly in here and it just dresses this window lovely and then because it's a thin high up curtain pole it also just accentuates the window even more but I love these windows um, and then obviously adds height to the room as well Maybe this is a better look from this way, but obviously you can see I've just been messing with the curtain there. I need to properly kind of like steam them and style them. I've just quickly put them up with a curtain rod. But I'm thinking maybe to bring the rod out a little bit. So they start further away from the window. Um, so there's not so much gathered here. But I'm just trying to figure out as well a way that I can hide this radiator down here. Because I feel like it's just a little bit of an eyesore right under the window. I would also show the study from this angle. Because I'm not sure if I've actually shown you the blind as well. I got this from Dunham. This is custom made though. I will again link it. It's from the Turk churchgate collection i cannot get my words out today but this room is slowly but surely coming together we are still deciding on the shelving up here on the wall and what we want to do if we want to do the cabin tree to run alongside here so then it'll make the room a little bit more symmetrical because this chair will not be staying here it's going to be moving and then we're also changing this chair to more of like a proper antique gentleman's desk chair. I'm thinking of grouting this brick so it's not so orangey red. But I'm really happy with the sofa and the poof. It's been so comfortable and it is actually really cosy in here in the evenings. I've been playing around with what to do on here like shelving, picture frames. As you can see I've made a little bit of a area here. I put command strips on just to see what it looked like and ripped a little bit of the paint off. But it's fine. I can touch it up. And then we're also deciding on this wall as well with like wall art. And then as you guys know this is the area where the bookcase maybe go. So with the coffee table. Uncle Venom, Alexa, Alexa stop. Sorry, I'm just listening to Harry Potter on my audio. Um, I always like to have like a podcast on or an audible book when I'm like doing my house chores. I've just been cleaning up. But this is actually just come from Amazon. And I don't know why, but the smallest things like this make me very happy because it is a touch lamp. So like it says, it goes three different like dimmable um lighting options and obviously this kitchen is going to be completely changing when we renovate it but just adds a little bit of character here in the, to the kitchen and i've got like my little baskets and just some of um like my cookware and my chopping boards and so i'd link it for you guys anyway if you're interested because it's a great little amazon find but i'm going to start cooking dinner now and start to unwind for the evening day just getting myself together today because we're actually hosting a barbecue and the weather so far has been really hot I went on a run this morning and it was baking then it's rained so I brought the cushions back in then now it's hot again <laughs> so I need to bring the cushions back out again this is literally just living in the UK it is so temperamental but I'm just doing a very don't worry, I'm going to blend it. Just doing very light makeup today because it's just having family over. But, oh my God, I've just had a party <coughs> arrived. Someone at the door because Bailey's barking. But I'm picking the camera back up because I thought I'd actually chat to you because I didn't manage to vlog a lot yesterday after I got back from Ikea. I was just catching up on work and admin. And we're currently doing a lot with the wedding and the wedding planning. So on night and evening, just got caught up with that. And I cooked a lovely like creamy chicken gnocchi, which was a bit more of a hearty dish because I've been eating really well this week. 
with my meal plans so maybe in like the next vlog i'll share a few more recipes that i've been making that are yeast free and i've got to say after a week of eating well and cutting out the majority of yeast obviously i can't physically say i've cut it out everywhere but the majority where i can i do feel better for it which is a really good sign so i'm going to keep that up over the next few weeks i'm going to share a lot more recipes and maybe over on my home account as well but i feel like i've gone off on a tangent i had a delivery just come as you heard baby barking it is a new designer piece of my wardrobe that i have treated myself to so i thought i would show you before i end up signing this vlog off because maybe it has been a long one and i feel like i don't want to kind of go too much into the bedroom at the minute because we are still painting and paneling and i tried the paint out this morning and it doesn't work which is my own fault i went rogue with it i tried out other colors and i actually liked one called i think it's called pointing tie from fire and ball it's a lot more um like creamier and warmer and then i've put schoolhouse white on the walls and it just looks too grey in our room so we're going to have to sort that out tomorrow so it's going to be a full day of painting, panelling and sorting that room so I'm going to do that in a whole separate like bedroom makeover video so you can really see the whole steps of before and after and break that whole video down rather than in like keep showing you pits here and there because that's kind of what life is at the minute just trying to like pick up all these different projects so yeah I thought I'd do that in a whole different video and then in this video I'm going to round it off and show you my new purchase i'm very excited okay, so about. let's unbox this together i have not seen it yet in person i ordered this from my teresa i think this could be um actually one of my first purchases from my teresa because i normally always order from harrods selfridges net porter bar fetch but this actually came pretty quick this has been lovingly wrapped by marina okay cute so let's open this it's really hard to do with one hand okay there we go this is the new baby oh the material is lovely so it is this new top that i've got it's like a creamy color i just thought this is going to be forever a piece of my wardrobe that i can wear for all of the seasons it's not just kind of going to be for like summer or autumn but the colors are given autumnal and i love it but it's actually longer than i thought it's quite like a long tank so i'd probably wear it a bit cropped but how lush is this i wear my loewe one a lot but this is a lot better um fabric this has got silk going through it actually i just love the contrast of the creams with the brown i actually wear my prada jumper so much and i just thought this tank top will be such a good like staple kind of base layer for a lot of my outfits to build from um so yeah very glad i got this i'm obviously going to try it on and see how it fits this is a size eight i believe it's a lot longer than i thought it was going to be I actually have like a shorter torso being on the petite side so i'm going to see how this fits so i'm sure you'll be seeing me style this very soon over on my socials i finally got myself together i've washed my hair and it feels very fresh and i've just quickly blow dried it out and finish my makeup this is very light kind of just like my everyday makeup look at the minute which again i will try and get around to filming for you guys real soon but i will link some of my favorites anyway down in the description that i keep going on about like the hourglass skin tin i'll also link the mascara if i can and some of my other current favorites but i'm very happy with this purchase right here i'm really excited to try it on so i'm going to quickly do that before i get started with the house i need to prep a lot for the barbecue today because we've got family coming over so i'm gonna sign off here like i said i'm gonna do a whole separate video for the master bedroom i get that i've only just shown a little part of it but i'll just kind of show you where we're at with it what we've been doing with sawing and painting and finding the paint samples and colors so yeah there's going to be lots to come with that i also put the curtains up from ikea and they work perfectly in there i just need to get them taken up at the bottom and find a picture frame and all the little kind of like decor details that will come with styling the room as well so that will be a whole separate video which will be coming soon so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that and if you did enjoy this vlog please do give it a like i know it's been a bit here there and everywhere but nonetheless i hope you are enjoying these vlogs and all the home updates but i'm going to sign this one off here guys and i'll see you in the next one